Hello everyone, welcome to the Computer Networks Practical Series. In this particular session, we will study about configuring the basic security features for the networks. Now there are many security features, but we will study one simple one uh, regarding the ACLs. First, let us understand the net. This particular topology. So we will be using this topology. On the left side, we have three PCs. We name them as Network One, and this is the network address 192.168.1.0. So this particular, this will form one network. This is one network, okay, network one. Then on the right side we have this network network two. The network address is 192.168.2.0. So this is the network two. Okay. And on network three we have just a single server. So we will configure this PCs according to. This particular config, you can note down this configuration for PC0, PC1, PC2. We will use this IP address. This is the gateway, common gateway for them. And 3, 4, 5, this is the common gateway, and these are the IP address addresses. And for router 0, uh, we are using router 1841. We are not using 194, we are using 1841. So we need to add one interface. I will show further how to add. By default, there are two interfaces. Zero z fast Ethernet zero zero and zero. We need to add one more interface. Okay, we'll add this interface, and these are the IP addresses. And for server, we have this. This is the default su subnet mask for all of the PC PCs router and server is this one two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. And we must note this wildcard mask. We'll be using this wildcard mask while for while applying the ACL. So this is the wildcard mask for all this, and this is the configuration. So what we'll be doing is, uh, we will apply ACLs such that this server okay, is actually it is giving the many it it provides many services. So we'll be using this FTP service. So before applying the ACLs, we will check that all the PCs from this network as well this network they will get the service FTP service. But after applying ACLs, what we will do is that this network will be allowed the FTP service this network while this network uh, will be denied the FTP service so this is this network will be denied so after applying the issues we'll check this that this will be applied th this particular network will get the access to FTP service and this won't get the access to the FTP service now let us uh, start the Cisco packet tracer and configure the PCs as well as the other interfaces Now we configure the IP addresses of each interfaces.
now we'll check the FTP service from this left network number one so I'll just click on any of the PC I just click on PC 0 I click on PC 0 and go in the command prompt and here I type FTP then the IP address of the route of the server 192.168.3.2 okay. so now it will ask me for username so by default there is a username Cisco and the password is also Cisco we won't see this so as you can see we get this FTP command so it means it is accessible I'll just quit from here so we can access the FTP service from the left network let us click on the right network uh, one of the PC of the right network PC3 and type the same command in the command prompt so we go to FTP then 192.168.3.2 so it is asking for the username that is Cisco and then password is also Cisco this is not visible to us so as we can see we can get the access so this is we, we get the access so it is logged in okay I'll just quit from here so we are getting the access now we will uh, create an access uh, control is ACL on this router 0 so that it allows all the PCs on the left side and denies all the on the right side so we click on router 0 and go into command CLI mode when we go to the CLI mode as you can see we will get this config if router config if so we have to come out of it we exit from here because all the commands they are not working on each and every prompt so we have to come in this particular prompt so con router config now we define the access list okay. so we name number it as 100 zero zero. Okay. this is the access list we are creating and then we want to permit so I'll just write permit okay. permit TCP then uh, the network address 192.168.1.0 and then the wildcard mask so space then 0.0.0.255 .0 .0 .0 .0 and we want to allow any this service to any server although we only have one server so any and then EQ the command for typing the F, then FTP EQ and then FTP because we want to allow FTP so this is created now again we want to deny that particular network so I'll just type access access list 100 then deny okay so deny TCP so we deny TCP to 192.168.2.0 and 0 0.0.0.255 and then to any network uh, any, any server with EQ is FTP so this is we have done so this is done now we have created an access, con con access control list number is 100 ok one is, it is this is permitting and the other command is denying now we have to apply this access control list to the interface of the router so there are three interfaces we will apply it to the ethernet and give it to out so we we'll type the command interface then ethernet e ethernet then the, the interface number is 0 slash 1 slash 0 okay. so you can see the, the prompt has changed now here we apply the access control list so this is IP that command is IP sorry IP access groups over 100 and we have to put it out okay so this is the command now this is done okay this is what we're doing into the router I'll just uh, uh, close it now let us check whether we are getting the access so first I'll click on PC 0 so according to our control list uh, according to our uh, access control list method we this will be allowed so we'll just type FTP and this command so it is asking for the username so the username is Cisco this pass asking for the password the password is also Cisco so as you can see we are getting the FTP we are going into the FTP now let us see for this PC3 so we we'll go into the command prompt and then type this FTP command so now we'll see this this has to fail according to our configuration so this will fail of course so we it is disconnected from the FTP so this is one of the security feature we started in this particular session 
सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग